So we're here at the beautiful Carmel Mission, um, established at this site by Father Yunipa Sarah in 1771. But the, uh, the building that we're actually working on was built by Father Furman La Swain after Father Yunipa Sarah died. And so we have a, a pretty aggressive um, structural upgrade um, that's gonna be done starting in August, um, the whole roof will be taken off of the building. And there's a series of vertical bores going down through the walls to reinforce the walls. Um, you know, steel rods will be inserted. And then there's, uh, there's some structural steel collectors going into the roof assembly. And then a ton of locking in the roof and two layers of shear ply on top of that. So we're here, um, this is our final day of laser scanning in the attic to uh, create a measurable 3D model of that space so that we can um, get the detailing done for the structural steel that has to go in, um, do plywood layout plans for the roof, um, blocking plans, and hopefully if all goes well, um, even pre-cut blocking and plywood packages to compress the open time of the roof. So uh, it's an extremely significant site historically. Um, one of only three stone missions built of the 21 in California, um, Carmel here, um, San Juan Capistrano, and Santa Barbara. And this mission here was the first of those. So very historic site, block construction company is very uh, excited to have been awarded this work. And so uh, we're gonna move from here and actually go up in the attic space and we're gonna show you what we're doing up there. Okay, so uh, now we're up in the attic space in the mission. You can see that uh, it's definitely a tight space in here. You can see lots of framing members. We've got, uh, you know, between every rafter, tons of blocks going on up here. Um, you know, where you see these posts and, uh, and braces here behind me, this is where we've got the wide flange beam collectors coming in. And so, uh, so you can see you know, it's pretty clear why we chose the Ferro Focus 3D. You know, it's a teeny little scanner. I don't know what else we could get into a space like this to do this. And, uh, you know, we're really, uh, we're appreciative of Matt coming in from Ferro and helping us with this. So, uh, so you know, this is going to give us a complete as-built of this space so that we can do all the prefabrication that I was talking about uh, previously. And, uh, and it should allow us to uh, significantly compress the open time on the roof. All right, so we're, uh, we're back outside. Um, you guys have gotten a, a look at how block construction companies are employing our technology tools. Um, you know, always thinking about uh, using the tools we have in new ways and uh, pushing the envelope where we can. Um, you know, not really sure where we're headed from here with it, but I know um, as this project progresses, um, you know, we're gonna come up with more ideas of what we can do, and as we do that, um, you know, like I said, we'll get back in here and we'll try to get some scans done, course of construction, and, uh, and get that stuff out there for you guys to take a look at so you can follow what we're doing.